Okay, so to start off with, I am creating the background for the whole illustration. So I chose to make a gradient effect with a darker green and a lighter green. So a darker desaturated green and a lighter desaturated green. Now it's up to you how you want your background to be. But I would suggest you to have some sort of gradient in the background. So also to create it, just place the two colors that you want and just add Gaussian Blur. So to start drawing the isometric house, you want to turn on the uh, drawing guides. And once you turn it on, just select isometric. Just because the guys were not visible enough, I changed the background color to a darker color and then I just reduced the opacity of the guides. So guys, here I'm starting to draw the layout for the house or the basic sketch for the house. I'm speeding up the process just because uh, I just don't want my video to be an hour long and you can take the screenshot of this basic sketch at the end. Now here you guys can take a screenshot and use that picture as a reference for your own drawing. Now once you're ready with your basic sketch, just create a new layer just underneath all those outlines and just start painting the house with a white color just because we are going to be starting off with gray scale shading and if you don't like grayscale if you just want to color it right away you can do that you can skip this part completely now once the base is ready you want to create alpha lock on the layer where you painted the whole house with the white color. Now I'm going to start shading the whole house with the gray color obviously and I'm going to speeding up the process so that my video is not an hour long and at the end again you can take the screenshot of the whole shading thing once the whole shading thing is done with the house you can take a screenshot and use that picture as reference So now you guys can take a screenshot and use the picture as reference. So here what I'm doing is I'm creating a new layer just above the grayscale shading part, the layer where we did that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create clipping mask and I'm also going to be changing the layer mode to multiply. Also, I'm going to be painting each part of the house uh, in a different new layer and in each layer you want to make sure you are creating clipping mask and you are also changing the layer mode to multiply. And the reason why we want to create or to paint everything in a different layer is because we are going to be adding some more shadows and highlights after we are done filling in the whole house so i'll be doing that and i'll be right back 
So here I've painted everything. I didn't add any shadows or any highlights. This looks quite amazing just as it is, just because of the fact that we did uh, we did shade the house with the gray in the grayscale mode. So you can stop here because it looks quite amazing just as it is. And also you can choose your own colors or you can just take a screenshot and pick colors from my illustration and you can also do that again if you do create something out of these tutorials do not forget to tag me on instagram and i will link my instagram down in the description so what i'm basically doing here is i'm adding more shadows and highlights to the house once i'm done with the painting part and to do that what you want to do is as you must have painted everything in a different layer so you just want to create alpha lock to the layer you want to add more shadows and highlights too and then you want to pick the color you painted the part with and then you want to select a darker version of the color if you want to add the shadows and if you want to add highlights just pick a lighter version also you, what else you can do is to ha add highlight, you can choose light brush from Luminous, Luminance brush set. I was saying it wrong the whole time and nobody corrected me. I was surprised. I, it is Luminance brush set. So just pick up light brush from that and just pick up the color you initially painted the area with and this, just go over the part you want to highlight it. It's just that simple. It looks so good when you do that so i would recommend doing that instead of just picking up a lighter version of the color that you painted the part initially with So here I'm back with my green gradient background as I was always done with the whole illustration and I'm just adding more shadows just underneath the plants and some more highlights on the plants and on the house as well.
Now, once you're happy with all the highlighting and shading part, what you want to do is you just want to go back to the layer where the outlines are and just create alpha lock. And then what you want to do is you want to change the color of the outlines. So for example, if I want to change the outline color of the plants, what I would do is I would just pick the initial color of the plants and I would go darker on that color and then I would go over the outlines of the plants. As we have created alpha lock, it would just paint the outlines. So I hope that makes sense. But if you want to keep the black outlines, you can do that as well. I wanted to change mine, so I'm doing that. And once you're done with the outlines as well, you are basically done. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up it means a lot and also do subscribe to my channel and also I'm just gonna say it once again if you do create something out of my tutorials do not forget to tag me on Instagram I would link it down in the description and yeah I will see you guys the next time